A captain of a local fishing boat says they found an undetonated explosive device off the coast of Block Island yesterday. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni spoke to the captain. She joins me now with the details of this shocking find. Anita? Well, shocking is right, Shannon. This captain tells me he fishes off this spot often, and it's, he didn't expect to ever pull up an explosive device that he believes dates back to World War II. Now, take a look. This is a map of the general area where it was found four miles off the east coast of Block Island. Captain Glenn Westcott of the fishing boat named the Ocean State says when his nets brought up the device, he kind contacted the Coast Guard. That's when they told them to anchor closer to Point Judith. Now, the Coast Guard tells me the Naval Explosive Ordnance Disposal Group out of Newport came to help. Here's a picture of that device right there. They actually detonated the device in the water, according to the captain, early this morning around 9 o'clock. Now, take a listen to how the captain describes those moments of that detonation. All we heard was a big pop and a thump, and then uh, a shockwave hit the boat like seconds later, um, making like uh, almost sounding like uh, you were wrapping like a real big heavy hammer on the hull. Now, it, we say it's shocking, right? But we know of uh, some sunken submarines in Rhode Island uh, waters. So is this really an unusual find? Well, I thought the same thing. So I asked Orsted, the company that runs the Block Island Wind Farm, if they've ever experienced anything or if they know of this particular find. And they said they were aware of the find that was happened yesterday, but it's not related to any of the work that they do. But their marine dive team has found undetonated unde ordinances in Rhode Island waters in the past near historical sites. So a surprising find, but certainly not unusual common, apparently. And thankfully, they were able to take care of it safely. Absolutely. All right, Anita Buffoni, thank you. Hearing from a fishing boat captain who hauled in an historic and potentially dangerous artifact off Block Island. He was bringing in his catch and found this in it. He says it was an old depth charge. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni talked to the captain this afternoon and also tells us what she's learned from the Coast Guard. Anita? Well, Shannon and Mike, the captain of the fishing boat, the Ocean State, told me over the phone he hauled up the device known as an ordinance yesterday at his usual fishing spot, a surprising find that some say isn't that unusual. A World War II era depth charge. That's what the fishing boat's captain says he hauled up Tuesday, saying it was in relatively good shape. He says it measured roughly 27 inches long and 18 inches around. Now, this video shows the explosive being hauled off the fishing boat. The Coast Guard confirms to 12 News they were called in to assist, as well as the Newport's Naval Station Explosive Ordnance Disposal Group. The three crew members were taken off the boat as a precaution. The Coast Guard says the vessel was told to anchor closer to Point Judith and a one-mile safety perimeter was maintained overnight. Then around 9 o'clock Wednesday morning, the device was detonated by the Naval EOD group. This video showing the moments before the detonation, according to the captain, who described the explosion that happened in the water. All we heard was a big pop and a thump, and then uh, a shockwave hit the boat like seconds later. Um, making like uh, almost sounding like uh, you were wrapping like a real big heavy hammer on the hull. Now, the company that operates the Block Island Wind Farm says there is no link to the finding of this device to their work there, adding their team in the past has found unexploded ordinances in Rhode Island waters near historical defense sites. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.